Okay, so another question people have is, do I have to be on Cell Revive when I take Bind Detox? And that question is a little easier to answer um, overall because it's just a test you take. Um, bottom line is, Bind Detox is probably one of the best detoxing supplements on the planet. It's very aggressive, um, but we also want it to work optimally. Um, so what I mean by that is, if you're, you're low on mitochondrial function and you have a lot of inflammation, Bind Detox isn't going to work very well. It's kind of like having a car with no gasoline. If there's no gas or no energy, the car isn't going to move. So Bind Detox is kind of that way. If you don't have energy for your cells, the toxins aren't going to be released. Um, there's no energy to get them out. So how you know? You take the post-chemo health quiz. The post-chemo health quiz, if you score above an 18, then you definitely want to be on Cell Revive while you're taking Bind Detox. Because Cell Revive is going to give your cells the energy. It's going to revive them to basically make the toxins come out um, with Binatox in conjunction. Um, if you're below 18, 17 or lower, then you can get away with just doing Binatox by itself. However, if you have any, if it's, if the numbers that you have on your scoring are all spread out in small numbers, like a one or so, just ones here and there, then you're fine. You'll be okay. But if you have only a few of them that are three or four, um, on their scores, kind of higher scoring on a few of the questions, then I'd probably get on Cell Revive as well because it'll help those come down. So just keep taking your post-chemo health quiz to know when you can come off of Cell Revive.